two weeks ago, we went back and we reviewed main idea and supporting details, and we just reviewed the formula. So what I wanted to do today is go a step further and look at summarizing. So we're going to go back and visit a strategy called the Essential Seven. You know how sometimes students have a lot of trouble when they read something and they're not quite sure what the main idea is or the supporting details or they get confused what constitutes a supporting detail and what doesn't? The Essential Seven not only helps with summarizing, but it also helps with understanding what an article is about. So everyone got this nice little packet. I tried to get some information that you might actually be able to use in your class. The Essential Seven is where when you read a particular <laughs> text, you'll identify seven words or phrases that you think are essential or important and you underline them. So what we're going to do is look at how you can apply that strategy to this Frederick Douglass piece. piece. Excuse me. All right, so you've got a little box right here that gives some information about Frederick Douglass. What we're going to do is actually start with the first paragraph, fellow citizens. Now these are short paragraphs, so I wouldn't have my students pick out seven words or phrases for one paragraph because that's almost the entire paragraph. So what I would do is say, okay, we've got the first and the second and the third paragraph on that first page. Turn to the second page. We continue. If you look at the third paragraph on that page, my subject then, fellow citizens, is. So if I were using this piece in my classroom, what I would have students do is take a chunk of it. For example, from fellow citizens, that paragraph, up to my subject then fellow citizens is to read those paragraphs and within those paragraphs underline seven words or phrases that you think are the most important. So I'm going to give you a second to do that right now to just read those couple of paragraphs and underline seven words or phrases that you feel is the most important or are the most important. Are y'all done? Yeah. All right. I need one of you please. All right. I'm going to have you come write your list on one side of the sheet. It's fine. Are y'all done? Then when he's done, will one of you go and write your seven words on the other side of the list, please? Seven words. Seven words or phrases? Yeah. Very nicely done. <laughs> All right. At this point, here's what I normally do. I know we're kind of running out of time a little bit. What I typically do in my classroom, if I have a class where the students are pretty well behaved, what I'll normally do is take this group of two and have them scoot over with this group of two, and it's a quad, if you will, have them come up with one list. Then I'll put two sets of examples on the board. And I always let the students go up there and write the examples because it gets them out of their seat and they like to come up here and present. So we'll kind of go through the two lists and as a class come up with a set, one set. So let's just look at one side. We have independence, disparity, treason, slavery, affirmative answer, not included in the 4th of July. Then over here we've got great principles, dot, 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 extended to the U.S., shared by you, not me, mournful, wailing, wailing of millions, treason, American slavery, making his wrongs mine, nation never looked blacker. All right, so let's just look at the list that you have and the list we have up here. First off, are there any in these two lists that we can combine? Treason. Okay, so we've got treason in both of them. What else? Slavery. Slavery. Is there anything else? Not included with uh, extended to us. Great principles extended to us. Okay. So we've got a couple, right? 
So if we came up with a list, a class list, let's look at what some other of you or others of you put down along with this list. Y'all had some. Immeasurable? Immeasurable distances. Is there anything up there that's similar to that? Disparity. Disparity. So would you agree that that would be an important word? All right. And then we had treason, right? Treason was a similar one. What other one did we have up there? Slavery? Not included. Not included? Did someone else have a word or phrase that was similar to what we have up here? Okay, what else? We thought that it was important. The 4th of July. The 4th of July was important? Okay, so we've got one group that have 4th of July, another group that have 4th of July. Can we agree that that's important? All right, one more. If we had to pick one more word or phrase, Does anyone else have a word or phrase that's similar to what we have up here? Sacrilegious irony. We have independence instead of fourth of July. Yeah, that works. Independence, fourth of July. Sacrilegious irony. All right, I'm like you now. Mm -hmm. It happens. S A C R I L E T G I O U S. Or we can right click. There we go. <laughs> I'm like, hold on. I know there's an I in there. Okay. Now, these are the seven most important words or phrases in that one chunk. Now, if we were going to summarize that one chunk of text, and we were to write a summary using these words. So take these words and put it in a sentence. What could we say? This is where you help me. <laughs> the disparity between the 4th of July and slavery. That disparity between the meaning of the 4th of July. Okay. Okay. It's a sacrilegious irony. <laughs> that causes our. Uh, all right, we haven't used all the words yet. Okay, that made those that were not included feel the nation never looked blacker. Okay. Slavery was a treason to freedom or something like that. Slavery was a what? Slavery was a treason? Yeah. Are y'all happy with this? You don't look happy by your face. I'm happy. <laughs> we all agree. There's no fighting besides the potential one right there. I'm just kidding. Now, could you go back and identify the main idea of this section based upon what you did here? I hope. The main who plus the main what and the supporting details. All right, so this is one strategy. And when we do the summary, normally, again, I'll stop and say, all right, now what we're going to do, we've got these seven words. With your partner, come up with a summary. And then, again, we'll compare it and come up with 
some type of paragraph and I'll have them write it down on the text. So what I'll have them do is kind of write the summary on the side so they'll have it. Then I'll go to the second half of it. And again, I'll break it up into chunks. I always do a little bit at a time. How, are there any questions with that? All right, thank you very much.